back to the Saturn Astra. It's next week. From the dealership, we got two brand new transponder keys, pre cut. So now we're going to try and program the steering column control module with the key because remember, we need good keys to program this module. So let's see what happens here. Put the key in, it turns, that's good. Lights are on. Let's go right into <clears throat> our AC Delco TDS subscription. Here's our VIN. So we have to go into that security mode to get access to program this steering column control module. Why are we still on? I want to be on the hot spot. Okay, and let's see, security access. Let's see if this works. Yes, run. Sure. Tech two, yes. Let's see if we'll talk. So you can see the Tech 2 Win is communicating with the internet and it says reading request, this screen is doing its thing. Writing response. So we went through all those roadblocks last time just to get this to happen. And now hopefully <laughs> everything's dialed in. It'll say access granted and we can go right into our Tech 2. and program this module. Okay, enabled security access type 3. So finish that. Now enter Diagnostics 2008 Astra. Um, let's go right into body. Steering column control module. Turn on ignition, yes. 5 DTCs. Confirm. And let's just go for programming. Program ECU. Do I still remember it? Is it 9401? 9401 ECM, TCM, ABS, EHB, R8 sensor. Okay, program. Confirm. We got both the display and the entertainment head unit. Low speed. Yep, yep, yep. Instrument cluster, display, airbags, TPMS. Whoa. I should figure out how to disable that Windows feature. Vehicle identification number. That's definitely the right VIN. Enter. Confirm. OK. 
cruise control, rear wiper, right side, manual, other countries. Yes, program that. Now, what we couldn't get through last time with the old key, immobilizer function, yes. So right now we just want to program the CIM. Transponder and remote key, yes. Okay, confirm. Insert non-programmed transponder key. Let's move this guy away from. Okay, confirm. Uh, uh, is this good? Remove from ignition lock. Turn ignition on. Remove key from ignition lock. Program more transponder keys. Yes, we got one more. Insert non-program transponder key. Let me do that. All right, here we go. Confirm. Confirm. Turn ignition on. Remove key from ignition lock. Turn ignition on. Remove key from ignition lock. So that's it, we got just got two keys. Two keys programmed, amazing. Confirm. Turn ignition on. So now it's going through all the modules again. Remove key from ignition lock. Okay. Please wait. Turn ignition on again. Pretty awesome that the keys work. Program mechanical key number. What is that? Well, the only mechanical key number that I can see on here is this three five seven nine right there. Or this Z4082. I don't know what the mechanical key number is here. Hmm. Let's figure that out. So I don't know. Let's just try this. Steering angle sensor calibration. Confirm. Yes. At least five degrees. Confirm. Straight ahead. How about there? Confirm. Turn ignition off. Turn ignition on. Programming successful. 
Man, that was a long <laughs> process. So let's exit. Exit out of here. Exit out of here. Go to vehicle and run our module ECU presence check. Engine off, ignition on, turn radio on, yes. Okay. This is kind of fun once it starts working. I'm sure we'll run into some more roadblocks here. So that's the VIN, yes. Configurations are identical. Confirm. Configuration mismatch. What does it not like? 9401. Enter. OK. Program. Programmed. Okay, <laughs> confirm. Configurations are identical, that's good. Again, as you can see, this can only be done with the factory scanner. Mid speed, completed details. Vehicle DTC information, let's try that. Confirm. Let's see what DTCs are set, if any. And we'll basically erase any that are set. I wonder if this car starts up, but I'm not gonna rush it. Let's just get through here and clean this junk out of here. By the way, we are using the Bosch MasterTech pass-through VCI, Vehicle Communication Interface. Now this one's already not available anymore. This is the previous generation. Now they have the MasterTech 2, but this one works great for GMs. Better than any knockoff, you know, Chinese clone or whatever. Obviously we saw that the one that the customer had did not work. So let's clear DTCs. I'm going to clear them all out and see what's left. Clear all. It's pretty sweet. It goes through all of them. So this this is like a health check for the entire car. All right, and restart test. Zero DTCs in the ABS. Zero DTCs in the TPMS. Zero DTCs in the power steering. Two DTCs in the instrument cluster. Five in the airbag. Nothing in the steering column module, so we did a good job programming that. Okay. All right, so now we're down to 12 trouble codes in the entire vehicle. Temperature sensor. Airbag, passenger airbag, driver's airbag, passenger airbag, instrument cluster is sport mode switch, LED, front left loudspeaker in the radio, hazard warning switch. Not sure why the DIS is saying invalid data from 
UEC present. We'll deal with that later. CD changer malfunction. Passenger seat belt warning telltale circuit low voltage in the SDM. Finally, inner engine air temp sensor. So this car should start and run right now. Let's uh let's give it a whirl. It hasn't run in months. So key off. Key on. Clutch in. <laughs> Victory! Yeah. <laughs> That's sweet. Amazing. So we still got some work to do. So right now it's saying display safe because apparently this display can't talk to the Underhood Electrical Center for some reason. It runs. Amazing. Wow. The lights work. So what's left to do? Let's try uh well first let's see if the pro the transponder is actually programmed correctly, so and the other key so the two new keys absolutely work obviously check engine lights on for that ambient air sensor we need to figure this out and should we plug in the computer that they have in there now and should we program the other Steering column modules just so they have a spare, so it'll be plug and play. Um, you can program the keys to them, you know, attach to the vehicle, program the keys, and then take it out so you have a spare ready to go plug and play unit. I don't know if the guy wants me to do that, but the main problem solved it. Gotta take it for a test drive. Amazing. <laughs>